Hello and welcome back to Yoga with Amy. Today I'm here on location, an undisclosed location. If you stick around to the end, I'll tell you where I'm at. Hopefully you can hear the waves in the background. It is kind of windy, so if you hear that, I'm, it's nature, what can I say? So we're gonna start with a quote by Rumi. Don't feel lonely, the entire universe is inside of you. Well, that's a good quote for today. All right, so for today's class, I'm gonna keep the next four classes or so to about 15 minutes or so to kind of help you get in the habit, you know, of getting in the habit of yoga on a regular basis. And I think a 15 to 20 minute class is a really good starting point to kind of help get you geared up for like some time when you're busy but you still wanna work out. So let's get started on it. So we're gonna start with cat cow. So go ahead and come to all fours. And go ahead and put your, your hands will be below your shoulders and your knees be below your hips, excuse me. And inhale, arch your back, look up. And exhale, round your spine and look inside. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, arch your lower back, look up and exhale round the spine this is warming up our spine for our movements coming up inhale once more looking up and exhale round in come back to a neutral spine flat back and now we're just going to step our right foot forward into a low lunge so keep that back foot untucked and from here you can either come all the way up put your hands on your knee or if you feel like it and you'd like to go in a little bit deeper and really get in those hip flexors, go for it. So pick here or here, lunging all the way in if you'd like, and breathe here nice and deep for three deep breaths. Inhale through your nose, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And from there, place your left hand down. We're gonna to twist to the right. So go ahead and twist your body to the right. And if you'd like to, go ahead and bring that right arm up overhead, looking up toward the sky and breathing here. Three deep inhales and exhales through your nose at your own pace, really opening and twisting into this pose. One more inhale and exhale and come back out. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and step back into downward facing dog. So we're gonna tuck those back toes and lift up into a downward facing dog. And from here, just pedal at your feet. Really get your opening everything up. And I must say my upside down view from right now is pretty cool. The water and the rocks, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right. And then after you've pedaled out a little bit, then go ahead and bend your knees a little bit and really lift the hips up toward the sky, push through your hands, through your shoulders, and now bring your heels, sink your heels back down to the ground. And we're gonna breathe here for three nice inhales and exhales through the nose at your own pace. I want to do some shorter classes, A, to get back in the groove of doing videos again after our big transition to full-time RVN. And I also want to do shorter classes to help people get in the mode of able to do this for the summertime because I know the summertime can be busy, but it's great to keep a yoga practice going. And from there, go ahead and bring your left leg forward. Drop that back knee down. Untuck your back toes. And now come all the way up. And you can either stay more upright or you can sink that, sink your hip further forward. Breathing here, three nice inhales and exhales through the nose. At your own pace. One more. From there, bring your right arm down and now we're gonna to twist to the left. So go ahead and twist your body to the left. Bring that left arm up overhead in the amount and twist to your left, looking up at the sky. And breathing here. Another inhale. 
exhale. Bring both your hands back down. We'll step back into a downward facing dog. Just go ahead and tuck your back toes. If you'd like to go ahead and pedal your feet again to really warm up the body. Loosen everything up, open it all up. Sink your heels back when you're ready. Two straight legs or bent. So breathing here. And from here, we're gonna step our right foot forward, and now we're gonna shorten the stance, and we'll come into pyramid pose. So go ahead and shorten your stance a bit for this one. And your front right leg will be uh, straight. You could have a micro bend in your knee. You don't wanna have, um, don't wanna have it to, uh, you know, I can't think of the word right now, but anyways, you can have a slight bend in your knee so that you don't lock out your knee. Standing here, standing tall, and your, both your hips are facing toward the front edge of your mat. And from here, exhale and fold forward any amount. So inhale, we're gonna come halfway up and look out, halfway lift. And exhale, fold in any amount. Again, you can have a soft micro bend on your knee if you'd like. Inhale, flat back, look out. And exhale, fold in. Inhale once more, looking up, flat back, use a block for your shin. And exhale, fold in. From there, step back into a downward dog and release that and that leg. And you can always keep deep knees bent if you'd like. Another inhale through the nose. And release, exhale through the mouth. Let it all go. Now step your left foot forward. Shorten that stance, come, back, come up to stand upright. Straighten out that front knee. And again, you can have a soft micro bend in if you'd like. Hips facing toward the front edge of your mat. Inhale, and now exhale and bend forward in the amount. So you can stay more upright if you need to. Inhale and look halfway up, look out. Flat back and exhale, fold in. Again, try not to lock that left knee. You wanna have a little soft micro bend so you're not locking it out. Inhale, look out. Exhale, fold in. Once more. Inhale, look out. And exhale, fold in. From here, go ahead and step back into a downward facing dog. The last down dog of this class. Down dog is a great pose just to do any time that you just need to get a quick stretch. This stretch is almost every, all, par all parts of you, from your hands all the way down to your toes, through your hips. So it's a great pose to do. You can always have more bent in your knees, straight. Just stretch all the way out, really pushing through your hands. And then exhale and walk forward. And now we're gonna come to sit. Outfit adjustment here on the, uh, the windy beach today. And from here, we're gonna do a little bit of core work. Don't worry, it won't be too crazy. But a lot of us like to work on our core because we want the six pack abs. But it's really important to have a strong core for your lower back to keep, to keep all of that functioning better. So that's really why we wanna work on our core. So we're gonna do boat pose. And you're welcome to bring your hands behind you and leave them there. Or if you'd like, you can bring one leg up, second leg up, you can stay here. Or one arm out. Second arm out, and now you're in a V shape. Make sure your chest is up to the up to the sky. Breathing here, balancing on your sitting bones. Breathing here, hold it, and exhale. Give yourself a hug. We do that twice more. The next time I'll do the modification with my hands behind. So here we go. I'm gonna do it this time with my hands back. Inhale, lift one leg and the second leg, and you can stay right here, holding it. Chest up toward the sky, breathing. Try not to run on the back, and exhale, bring it all in and hug, your, hug in. Okay, you got one more in you? All right, let's go. Full boat pose, if you can do it. One leg up, second leg up, one arm up, second arm up. Breathing, really opening the chest to the sky, and exhale, hug it all in. And now, just for fun, we're gonna do a little bit of a twisting boat. So I lied to you about that being the last one. So from here, you're just gonna bring your legs up, 
You can always stay here, by the way, and then twist this way. This will also do the same idea. All right, here we go. So come into your full boat. And from here, inhale to the, the right. Come back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. One more. Exhale to left. Inhale back to center and release it all and give yourself a big hug. Nicely done. And then we're going to come into bound angle pose. So go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. You can bring your legs up more if you'd like. To make this more challenging, you can bring it in. This is going to really help open up the groin area. So get comfortable. Get up on your sitting bones. If you need to have a blanket underneath your seat, go for that. Sit up nice and tall. Stretch out. And then hinge at your hips. Fold forward any amount. And breathe here for three inhales and exhales through your nose at your own pace. Just really releasing all of that. I'm feeling good because you did, you did your yoga today. So even though if 15 minutes is is good. One more inhale and exhale. Let it all go. Inhale, come all the way back up. And now we're going to come into seated forward fold. So go ahead and sit your seat back. Sitting up on your seat, you can always just stay right here. Or if you feel like it and you feel ready, go ahead and inhale and exhale, fold forward any amount. So your hands can come anywhere. They don't have to go to your toes. There is no, you don't win a, you don't win a prize for getting your toes. It's wherever you want to go. So here is fine. Come forward any amount. Stretch through your shoulders, through your back, tuck your chin. Really just let that dangle. Breathing here. Letting all that go. The idea is to slow down a little bit and at least get some good quality poses in and really paying attention to your breath while you're moving through the poses. All right, let's come back up. And now we'll go onto our bellies. And we'll do a little sphinx pose to kind of clear out the belly from, or the stomach area after those, the boat poses we did for the core. So from here, your um, elbows will be underneath of your shoulders. And when you feel ready, just go ahead and stretch out, come out of your hips as much as you can. Keep your shoulders back. You don't want to hunch forward. And look forward very much like the Sphinx of Egypt. And breathe here. And just know that if you can pick a couple of days a week even, or 15, 20 minutes a day, a couple of days a week, you're going to get some great benefits from just that amount of time. So don't think you have to work in a half an hour or an hour. And from here, go ahead and come all the way up. And now you can flip over onto your back if you'd like to go into Shavasana. I'm going to stay seated. So you can go into Shavasana, flip over onto your back, and go ahead and just stretch your legs out on the mat. Get really comfortable. Or if you prefer to come up to a seated meditation, you can come up to a nice, comfortable seat and stay here for about a minute in Shavasana meditation. So close your eyes either way, no matter where, what you're doing, and just enjoy having a little bit of quiet time. I'm going to give you a good minute here of quiet. I'll let you know when the time is up. Just let everything go and breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. Let go of your to-do list. It'll be there when you get done. If you have more time you'd like to stay here, either in seated meditation or shavasana, please ignore my cues. Otherwise, go ahead and stretch your body out long on the mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a nice hug. Thank yourself for taking this time. Roll over to one, of your, one side. Push yourself up with your hands. Come up to seated. And thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this practice. And by the way, we are at the Indiana Dunes State Park. So for those of you who stay to the end, now you know where we're at. Hope you enjoyed the waves.
and the wind. Namaste. Thank you.